Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to fix GTA 5 black screen issue. So let's start. Now for the first method, go to the Windows search bar. After that, type in settings. Now once this pop up, go to the left menu and select Windows Update. After that, make sure you download all the available updates you will find by clicking on download or install or if you had failed updates just click retry all just wait for the updates to finish after that go to the search bar once again and search now for nvidia app click it after this will opens make sure to log in with your correct credentials after that go to drivers in the left menu right here and make sure to install the latest driver you will find you will find this button for the installation in the right so click it after that you can simply select continue by leaving the installation on express in order to initiate the process now once you do all of that go to the search again and type in device manager so this window will pop up in the left search for display adapters and make sure you click on the graphics card you have which is this one for me right click on it after that select update driver now select search automatically for drivers wait for it after that select close once you finish that go to processors open it after that select the first one right click and select update driver do the same thing right here select close now close everything for the next step go to this windows taskbar right click after that select task manager now go to the search and make sure you search for the game make sure the game is not running in the background after that go to the launcher you have the game on either epic games or steam if you do find any launcher right here right click on it after that select end task now wait for a moment after that go open the launcher now once it opens go to your library in the left search for the game after that you can see these three dots you need to click it once you do that you can see this manage button select it after that you will be prompted to verify the game's files click on verify and just wait for the moment the original verification of the files will begin and any corrupted or missing files file will be recovered and that's it you can safely restart your computer and try to launch the game once again if you find this video is helpful make sure to like and subscribe and see you on the next one